Hey everybody, it's Amber, and today I'm going to show you how to make this viral photo pop out effect in Canva. So let's make a new page, and I'm going to just delete that color, and we're going to type in number. And then we're going to click on frames. These will be all of Canva's photo frames, and they should be free to use. As you can see, there's a bunch of options, so just choose whatever numbers you need and whatever style you want. Then I'm just going to move them into my design where I want them. And then you're going to either insert your photo or use a stock photo for this. I just chose to do the football player thing since that's what I've just commonly been seeing in the Facebook groups. I couldn't decide, but I decided on this one. And you're going to duplicate it for each time you have a number or letter because this works with words too. And one for the background. Then you're going to drag two of those, basically one for each number into your number. And you're going to turn down the transparency on the one that's not in the numbers. Then you're going to move it to approximately where you want it to be popping out. And turning down the transparency just really helps visualize it. Then when you have it, send it to the back, turn the transparency back up. And you can double click into the letters or numbers to resize your photo. You're going to want to match it to the one that's in the background. And the more precise you do this, the better your results are going to be. And for like really exact results, you can also use the keys, the arrow keys on your keyboard to adjust the picture as well. So once you have that, you are going to remove the background on the one that's not in any of the things. And now this is where the tricky part is. We're going to be basically cutting and shaping the pop out. So we are going to adjust the sides. So we're not resizing it. We're just moving the cuts, basically the crop of how we want it. And I sped this up because it took me a minute. But um, another tip is if something's poking out too much, you can just go to the background remover of that piece and just remove it. And it just makes your life a whole lot easier. So once you have it how you want it, you can group it together just to make moving it easier but i wasn't even done here see so i just had another little cheeky part since i positioned him in the middle but um yeah just duplicate it however many times you need and then you can keep cropping and cropping ideally um pick a different position so it isn't that hard but like i said you can erase if you need to it's definitely possible as you can see i fiddled probably at least 10 minutes with this guy but this is how I ended up wanting it. And then we're going to turn it into a real looking graphic. So I grouped it together. So nothing is going to accidentally move. And then I wanted to do something like football themed. So I typed in grass. And I think I ended up changing this later. Um, but yeah, here's a fun tip. If you want to make like a shadow, you can actually download a selection, like a group of items. So that's what I did. And I made sure to put on the transparent background. So it's just the element we just created. And I'm going to copy that into my design again. And then since it's a singular photo, this allows me to edit it like with blur and duotone and stuff like that, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to blur the whole image to cast the perfect shadow basically for this design. And um, in duotone later, I am going to change the color of the photo. Now here I change the background to this football and then I'm actually going to copy that background and layer the football on top like I did just there, um, just to make it look a little bit more hidden. Then if you want a varsity font, the one called a yearbook is the one I love. It is perfect. I'm pretty sure it's a free font as well, which is very handy. And um, yeah, now you see me doing using Duotone. This is a huge hack. You can use any color you want basically, and this is free. Um, you can use a color dropper, but I was just looking for shadows. So I was playing with black and white to see which one would look better. I decided on black for the emphasis and I turned down the blur a little bit because it was a little much, but I added the lift effect, not the shadow, to my text just to give it that extra little oomph. And this is the finished design. Feel free to comment what you made. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, feel free to subscribe, drop a tutorial request, join my Facebook group and my subreddit and all that stuff. I love you guys. Bye. Thank you.